Hey everybody, I'm Jim. I'm Corinne. And we're going to take you on a tour of the Grizzly RV Park in West Yellowstone, Montana. When you first drive in, the registration office will be over on the right. They have five lanes, maybe six, that you can pull in your RV and stage here while you go into the registration office. This was quite full when we pulled in yesterday. Adjacent to where you pull in are a couple of pet stations. There's one on this side and then one over on the other side of the road here. And you can walk your dogs on this grassy area. And they seem to be conveniently located around different areas of the park. And this is the registration building. You know, if you're coming late, there's some procedures over here. I guess uh, there's a couple of slots inside here and your paperwork will be um, in there. Also, if you don't has, have a reservation, they have the available spots, but they don't want anybody arriving after 10. Good thing. So we're assuming by this box over here that if you come in with a smaller RV and you don't want to drive it around, you can rent a car and drop off the keys right here. We'll get more details in the registration office. And like a lot of campground offices, they have supplies in case you forgot anything, cables, wires, and then a lot of souvenirs. games for the kids that are related to the National Park, which is nice. And when we checked in yesterday, there were four people working at the front desk. Coming out of the registration area, there is a park and then they have an enclosed pavilion over there in the uh, distance. Oops. And then Good on the other see. side, there is a dump station that's open from eight to four. And you can see those two rigs over there uh, using the dump station. It's quite a big park. It's uh, fairly lush and there's two sides to it right now. This side seems to be older based on the vegetation. There's a lot of uh, trees that you can see and shady spots for the summer. We're here in September and it was 30 degrees this morning and it's supposed to get up to the 70s. But these are beautiful What's, sites. I'd like to say what these sites are. So these are probably like in the low, like the 70s. You can't see. Maybe there are spot numbers. Oh, I guess they come in that way. We can't see it because it's coming that way. Yeah, these are all pull through sites. We'll go down the other row. Almost the whole park. I mean, there's some back-ins, but there's mostly pull-through in this park. This appears to be in the 70s. If you're looking at a map, the 60s, the 70s, this area with uh, lots of pines. We'll put a copy of the map, a link to the map, in the description below. And then the park is pretty much surrounded by backing spots as well. 
So that's what we're looking at right now. Yeah, the whole, the, the whole border or outline of the park seems to be back in spots. And on this end, you're really right backed up to the forest out there. It's kind of interesting. It's, it's pretty. It's a very, very pretty park. They do have a pet walk too. So I don't know how you. Oh, it's out that. here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. yeah wow, this, what beautiful area. Yeah, so this is, we're out now um, at site 29, and I'm assuming 30. Yeah, and then that's where the pet walk goes out in this kind of this valley, this. Uh, it's, it's really beautiful. Yeah. I got to say that uh, this morning when I took our dogs out at 6.30, <laughs> I heard uh, a bunch of wolves howling. Yeah, they're probably over there. They probably were over there. <laughs> so I do think you have to be careful. I mean, this is really in the park. It's all part of the park. So you do have to be bear mindful. Bear aware. <laughs> yeah, bear aware and whatever other animals. Well, all these sites are very well. These must be original yeah. part of the park is my guess. These are very mature trees. actually very easy to navigate through the park even though it looks like it's narrow uh, the it's, spaces are pretty well defined and at a almost at a perfect angle for you to drive into and the roads are well paved so you're not going to worry about sitting water or mud the sites are all gravel paved, gravel, not paved, they're all gravel. And then each of them has a very nice picnic table and a grass area and a patio uh, slab, patio slab. This is a closer view of the pavilion. It looks like it has sliding doors. We're here with a group, so I suppose one of our events is gonna be here. And they have this little section behind the clubhouse and it's called the cub loop and it's really designed for smaller rvs vans pop-up trailers and such When we were looking several years ago, probably three years ago, we planned our first trip and it was gonna to be to Yellowstone. And we were, I don't know why, and we discussed this yesterday, why we were only looking at staying in the national park. And it probably because was the the cost. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, the whole area is gonna be pricey. But it was fairly easy to get a, a spot in here with short notice. Yeah, we are here with the group, but we came early and uh, we wanted to spend a couple of other days here. The other thing I want to say about this park is that it's very uh, convenient to West Yellowstone. It's all walking distance to any of the attractions in West Yellowstone, which include things like, try to think there's a museum, a Yellowstone museum here. There's a IMAX theater. IMAX. Right I down the road. You could actually walk to downtown. It's it's not a a large town. Nope. The uh, park is conveniently located at the south end of the town. Certainly is big rig friendly. There's quite a few big rigs here. In fact, there's rigs of every size. The only thing they don't allow, from what I saw, is tent camping. 
we had someone coming out behind us. You know. We do have uh, a couple of cabins that I saw also. So down here is another pet walk area. Well. <laughs> right now I smell bacon. Bacon. <laughs> hey there. Bacon alert. Good morning. It smells good. So let's walk down. There's some here. restrooms over here. And they have accessible. And then here's another pet walk. Of course, they show a grizzly bear on there. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'd be doing a pet this walk. This one is very, very wooded. The other one was a little more open. Open field. Yeah, look at this. And they say, yeah, they have a wolf on here too. This might be where the wolves were. Yeah, this is very beautiful, but I don't know how far I'd go with my little dogs. Wow, it's really nice. Beautiful area. One thing I will say, having been a work camper all summer and guiding people to their spots, there were quite a few people checking in. There's a, an extreme amount of roads in this RV park and there was nobody to guide you to your site. And there were several people who were confused and had their rigs just parked in the middle of the road. So it was a little bit of a, a challenge. Eh? I would say that was one of the only negatives that I would see. Otherwise, I'd give this park a, a nine out of 10. These are some more bathrooms right over here. And then you can see some of the cabins over here. And you can see that the trees are a little less mature than the ones on the other side of the park, but not tremendously. This corner spot over here has a very big grass area. So some of the corner spots seem to be a premium location, especially if your door goes out that Let's side. Let's see what spot this num number was. This was. I get from that side. That's, I can't see it from this side. I gotta see it from the other yeah. side. Yeah. Back here is one edge of the park and it does back up against an industrial building. So something to keep in mind if you're on that back row.
have we haven't kitchens. gone into the restrooms at they have all, sinks for but it seems like they're, everything is kept very clean. We can. I have the code. And they do have a, a sink area outside so that you can clean dishes or whatever you yeah. need to. What's the code? The code is, um, what's the code? One, one. One, one, two, three. This is the men's room. Very clean. I don't think they get a lot of use. And it looks like in these uh, restrooms that they have these stations that there is laundry also. Oh, nice and warm in here. Several machines, $3 a piece to do your wash. Takes quarters. And how much are the dryers? It takes quarters, but I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be probably, it might be the same type of thing, 12 cents or, I mean, 12 minutes or 10 minutes for a quarter. I don't know. Can't tell me. Oh, here it is. 25 minutes for 25 cents. Very clean. Yep, uh, everything's very clean. Ooh, oh. These are also back in sites. They're a little bit smaller, but they do have a spot on the side for your car. And they do back up to a road that is outside of the park. So this is our spot. It's satellite friendly if you have Starlink. You do have a nice grass area outside as you can see it's a graveled spot a decent sized patio your stairs go straight out onto a walkway this is site 278 and you can see i still have room in the front and it's angled so that you can pull straight out and go out the exit down at the end of the road and this is a staging area over here where people can hook up their cars. Or if you're caravanning, they just ask that you don't uh, leave your car idling. If you have any questions about this park, please leave them in the comments below. We'll be happy to answer you any questions you have or find out an answer for you. What was your overall uh, opinion of the park? I think this park is very, very nice. I like that it has a great location, convenient to both the park and this town. Um, it's very quiet here. It's well treated. It's everything is just nicely manicured. It's clean. Uh, the staff were very nice when I did um, check in. So only only point would be I think they it would be nice to be escorted to your site. I do like that um, because this is a big park. I think the couple of negatives that I would say are, uh, yeah, again, being driven to your site, but also the internet. And, you know, this is 2023 and we just left a, a small KOA that had Wi-Fi, strong Wi-Fi all over the park, um, both 2.4 and 5G. And here they have it blocked. So if you try to do a Netflix show or Prime or any streaming service, it's going to come up as blocked on your, uh, your, your television. So I give them a negative for that. Other, otherwise, it's, it's a nine. I'm not here to watch TV, but I do like to be connected to the Internet, which is why we have our satellite out. They do have cable TV, though, too, and I don't know if we tried to watch. I tried to do the cable TV, and it, it didn't work at okay. our particular site. Okay. So, but overall, 9 out of 10. Yes. Okay. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for stopping by, and hopefully we see you on the road. Bye. Bye.